I am hiding in my garage, videotaping uh, this little family of cats. You can see Mama is not at all, she sees me, but she's not at all happy. And the kittens, they're just playing. But this is a feral family. I will never be able to get close to these cats, and I won't be able to catch them to find them homes. And it, it breaks my heart because I know that, you know, obviously they have fleas, they're probably wormy, they've not had shots, and I wish I could help them. So today's video will be addressing having our pets spayed and neutered, and we will do a cat painting. Now, obviously, I'm inspired by these animals in my backyard, but I also would like to be able to help them in any way I can. Hey everybody, today's video was inspired by the fact that I have feral cats running all over my yard. So in some ways, I just wanted to paint a cat. I mean, it was just something I wanted to do. I've painted my dog. We've seen my dog's portrait being created and I wanted to do a cat, but part of me almost feels like I, I need to bring attention to the fact that we all, if you're a pet owner, part of being a pet owner is being responsible and having our pets spayed and neutered. And I, I'm concerned. So of course, in the beginning of the video, you're gonna see these little kittens and they're absolutely adorable playing in my backyard. And the mother, she's just kind of like watching and, but the bad thing is I'll never be able to get close to these animals. I can't capture them. If I could, I would go ahead and bring them in, get them neutered and hopefully get them placed into homes. But as a lot of you guys know, so many animals, cats and dogs, will end up in shelters and the numbers far exceed the amount of homes willing to take them in. And so, there's that. I want to be able to make this painting that I did today to be, uh, if, it, if it sells here in the next little bit, a portion of the proceeds are gonna to go to one of my local, uh, there's a local animal shelter here, it's a no-kill shelter. It's called Pet Works. And if this painting, if you see this painting and you like it and if you're wanting to purchase it, let me know because uh, this is a great, I just, I just really felt compelled to be able to bring this up and talk about having our pets spayed and neutered and that's it. Okay, so I said it. Again, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the painting of the Siamese cat. Uh, of course, I enjoy the eyes probably the most. It's always the best part of any, well, any animal really, but you know, blue eyes on a cat, gorgeous, right? So I hope you enjoy the process here. If you're my subscribers, thanks so much. And if you're not, you know what to do. Please subscribe, consider. And um, I think the little, you see it right down here, there's that little owl. Go ahead and give it a smack and, uh, and go ahead and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in on this uh, little cat painting. I'm just gonna start off this painting with a little bit of a pencil sketch, and I'm just really kind of getting the shapes and blocking in some of the darker masses. This particular cat happens to be a Siamese, so I know there's gonna be a lot of dark values in the head, and I'm just trying to feel it out a little bit. Okay, this is my basic setup. As you can see, I've got a, a, a pencil sketch of a cat on here. And I'm gonna to try to keep the background somewhat loose. I want it to just be some real simple grays, including the blanket that she's wrapped up in. Uh, as far as the colors that I have on the palette, obviously I have quite a, an array of blues here. I have uh, Michael Harding's uh, King's Blue Deep. I've got a Cobalt Blue. I have a couple different turquoises, both by Gamblin. I have ultramarine blue. I have purple lake. I have alizarin crimson because I may mix that into my black to get some of the seal point colors. Burnt sienna, raw umber. And then here's an array of grays that I have. And I get a lot of my grays are, <laughs> it's a brand called 12 Shades of Grey. I absolutely love them. I have used them and have been really happy with their colors, but this is their yellow gray, their violet gray, their hmm, mid gray, 
they're light gray, they're warm gray. Then I also have yellow ochre, titanium buff, and titanium white. So there is my palette that I'm getting ready to start with. And here's the cat. So we'll be on our way here in just a minute. I'm getting ready to start painting. I'll be using an array of different filberts to do the painting. Uh, I am obviously doing this a little bit of a sped up version of this painting. And of course, if you're curious and like to uh, check out my Patreon page, you'll be able to see the full length version of this video, including what colors I'm mixing, which size brushes I'm using, and my crazy internal dialogue as I paint. But yeah, I'm just kind of blocking it in at this stage and using various brushes just to kind of move the paint around. I'm not really putting down as much paint as you might think because I'm never sure exactly, um, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm not sure of where I'm going with the piece, but um, I'm always subject to change in the middle. And so by putting down just a little bit of paint, it's just offering me an opportunity to see the piece as a whole. Okay, now it's starting to look a little, little more Siamese. We're getting a lot of the darker values in her head, and I love that I get to use a lot of purples. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of fun for me. And she's starting to come about. I haven't put in the background yet, and so I'm just kind of blocking it in. I'm using a much smaller um, filbert here to put some of the detail in, and, I'm, and I keep tweaking. I keep bringing out different areas and elongating and shortening and you know, I, I, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants when I paint. mixing a very, uh, just kind of a neutral uh, gray color and blocking it around the cat. And I'm just gonna, just to avoid having to paint the entire cat, I am wrapping her up in a blanket so I can avoid parts because I'm trying to get this piece done as quickly as pop possible. I actually love a little challenge and this piece was a challenge for me because I wanted to complete it in a two hour, two, about two hour, two and a half hour span of time.
I'm starting to get in a little bit more of the detail. I'm putting in the whisker tracks and, and the highlights on her nose. And I still haven't gotten to the eyes yet because I want to, I don't want to say I'm saving the best for last, but I do want to try to get, make sure I have everything else in place because I don't want to have to do the eyes more than once if possible. Uh, I am keeping the values along the outside of the cat's body as close to the background color as far as value. I'm scratching out the whiskers. I'm actually using a paint scraper to take the paint out, and I'm putting a little details in by scraping some paint off. Again, paint scrapers are a great tool. Um, I'm wanting to keep the edges pretty soft, too. So whenever I can, I will uh, blend those edges. And you can see which brush I'm using now, another small one. And I, I am getting ready to get into the eyes, I can tell, because I'm mixing the blues. And we're just putting that in there. And this is where the fun happens because Siamese cat's eyes are just absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful, beautiful cats. And you can see here, I actually pull the side of her face out a little bit more because it's a little too narrow. And so you'll see here, I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit more, pull it out a little bit more. And I'm actually being more conscious of her structure of her skull. And of course my original drawing wasn't exactly right, but you know, that's, that's the magic of paint. We can keep making adjustments if we need to. And I'm just putting in more detail and softening that fur and, you know, little bit by little bit, she's developing into a pretty little cat. I'm having a ball with it. You have to know. You have to know I'm having so much fun.
Okay, now you're going to be a little bit more conscious of the soft edge. Knowing that I'm being able to paint into a wet surface in the background, I'm actually just taking my brush and lifting up the paint that's already there. I'm not really adding more paint, I'm just lifting it up. And that makes the cat seem more fluffy. I don't want it to, you know, I'm not trying to do each individual hair, but I am trying to create that illusion of softness and fur that cats offer. So I am pulling up on that paint and just bringing it into that wet background gray. And that makes it look soft. And then I can add a little bit more detail, but I don't really always have to. You know, you only put the detail where you really need it. Now, since the paw is actually in your most immediate foreground, I really do have to put, I had to take some of the paint off and put some more dark values in so that I can stack the lighter colors on top. I mean, this, you know, she's got that little bend at her wrist. And so just the nature of how a Siamese cat's uh, fur is, I, you know, I've got to have my dark values in. And I'm scraping a little paint off and creating some of that lighter highlighted fur on top. But I'm just adding and building the colors up here on her arm. And I love the lovely seal point color of this cat. And I'm getting to use a lot of purples, believe it or not, in these browns. It's, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. I'm getting to use my trusty little dagger brush and I'm putting in some light you can see I've just got it loaded right on the edge of the brush and I'm dragging out those whiskers a little bit more because I do have to add paint in some areas the dagger brush is an amazing brush to be able to create long hairs like like in the whiskers and I'm adding just a little bit of highlights on top and I can use that same dagger brush to add some of the longer hairs hair texture in the cat so this is what I'm doing here you know if you don't have your dagger get you one
close up on it for you so you can see. You can see how the whiskers are mainly cut in. You can get an idea of how the fur is textured where I built up with a lighter um, light on top of the dark there on the paw. Uh, I think you probably also can understand too how awesome a dagger brush is. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. Um, here's our palette. Uh, it's a mess. You'll remember what the colors were in the beginning, but now you can see all the different colors that I used to mix. If you have any questions, just holler at me. But that, folks, was a cat. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed me watch, watching me paint the uh, Siamese cat. They're absolutely gorgeous animals, without a doubt. Uh, I'll bring you in a little closer. Of course, the eyes are always probably the most fun of any part of a painting of an animal that I do. But I have to say, a Siamese cat, come on, those blue eyes, absolutely gorgeous, so fun to paint. And, uh, you know, I loved being able to do the challenge of being able to complete a piece in two and a half hours. So if you enjoyed today's painting and want to learn a little bit more about my process, you can see the real time. Um, you'll be able to watch the real time video on my Patreon page and you'll get to hear the internal dialogue that goes on in my head as I'm painting. And, um, there's a lot more about which size brushes I'm using, what colors I'm mixing, et cetera, et cetera. The whole process step-by-step step of this painting, you'll be able to see basically what you saw here, except in real time. So again, thanks so much for joining me today. Folks, get your pets spayed and neutered, and thanks for joining me. Again, if you're my subscribers, I know you probably get here, you know, tired of listening to me say over and over again, my subscribers thank you and please consider subscribing if you are not right there go ahead and take care of that so again from Kingsport Tennessee I want to say thank you very very much for joining me today and until the next video see ya